What's up, what's up, it's a Spiracle, and welcome back to Dominique Pomplamousse, and it's all over once the fat lady sings. Um, I'm so glad to be back to this. I was, uh, missing it for the past week, but, uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay. So I talked to her about everything, didn't I? So you were using Casey to help with your college costs. I thought you had a scholarship. Not a full one. There's still room and board and food and such to deal with, not to mention flying all the way over there. Okay. I'd have to get a job anyway. Might as well use my family connections to help me, right? Yeah. Do you know a lady named Ms. Pendergast who waters Casey's plants? I've never even been to his house, so no. Okay. Fair enough. Uh... You're definitely not dating Casey, then. Nah, I'm not even interested in boys. Why would I want to tie myself down to one? Alright. Devin Van Dung is queer Do you know anything icon. About Casey's lawyer? Mm, yes, Casey did mention his lawyer to me a few times. He didn't really say much to me other than that, though. You okay. said you were helping Casey get information on your mom's shady business practices. What would those be exactly? Well, according to what little Casey told me, she's been putting the safety and health of Van Dung Records artists at risk. Ruining their voices, getting them injured during performances, Jesus Christ. that sort of thing. All in the name of cutting corners and saving costs. I see. That's terrifying. So Casey claims that Prudence's negligent business practices have been putting his health and safety in danger. Well, yeah, but not just his personally. You're sure you don't know anything else about this mysterious slip of paper? It kind of looks like something that could be from the internet, maybe, but other than that, no idea. <laughs> it's the devs. Uh, the, the slip of paper that has the devs, uh, Twitter handle on it. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Um... Do we go confront Prudence? Uh, let's go back to my office. I haven't been back there in a while. Hello. Do, 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 do. Looks like Casey stopped tweeting after disappearing three days ago, so no clues as to his current location. <laughs> Curious. Twitter. <laughs> the main. <laughs> oh, we could probably can Google much Casey's lawyer. For people named Pendergast, but nothing specific enough to tell me anything about this Pendergast. That's fair. Casey's lawyer. There's a news story saying that Casey recently attempted to sue Van Dung Records for damages. No specifics hmm. on what exactly, though. And no other information about who Casey's lawyer is either. Fuck. Not much more I can find on that subject other than what Devin told me. Searching for at callmesquinky27 leads to a page of nonsensical questions and answers. Curious. <laughs> nonsensical. Cool question, I can't find any more specifics on the lawsuit. Prudence would be able to tell me more about it, I'd expect. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to confront Prudence. Ugh, no. It's tempting, but I'm not hiding any money in there. Trust me. <laughs> Ugh, no. Okay, so let's go back to Prudence's office and talk to her about stuff. Hello, Prudence. You lovely, con disconcerting lady. So, how about Casey that apparently lawsuit? Casey tried to sue you recently. What for? Oh, you know, it's not important. <laughs> Nothing more than empty threats. Okay. <laughs> All we wanted was more money. You know how these singers care. Okay. You say Casey was just trying to get more money out of you, huh? Is that why he skipped town? I have no idea. It really doesn't make much sense to me. Does at call me squinky 27 mean anything to you? I can't say it does. Sorry. I can't ask her about that. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Okay, so that's 
That's all I can ask her about, I suppose. Maybe if I tell Mrs. Pendergast about the lawsuit, she'll believe that I'm Casey's lawyer. Ahem. Oh, hello. I'm Miss Pendergast. I'm here to water the plants. Well, you see, you're not... What was I going... Hmm. I guess Ahem. not. I'd like to ask you about Casey Bingham. Are you his lawyer? Yes, I am indeed Casey's lawyer. Is that so? What is your name? My name? It's, Whoops. uh... That's not right. Okay. Mr. Bingham gave me clear instructions. Only talk to my lawyer. Anyone else? Just tell them, please, to... Hmm, I could have sworn I was just... Never mind. Okay, so I have to have his name. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, maybe back to Devin's bedroom? What else I would find in here, though? I'm looking. I'm going. Let's yeah. see. And I already went under Devin's bed. A few step. Yep, definitely. They've probably. Hmm. I'd hate to be a teen idol, especially if it meant there'd be millions of posters of me everywhere. Yikes. <laughs> God damn it. I keep forgetting that that's not the that's not the button I need. Um Okay. So I went to Prudence's office. I tried to confront her about the lawsuit. She denied it. As to be expected. Um there's nothing in Devin's bedroom. I can't talk to Mrs. Pendergast until I have Casey's lawyer's name. Let's go back to the mall. And I can't find it online either. Hi, Devin. So the whole thing about Casey collecting information about Prudence must have to do with the lawsuit against her. It's been going on for a little while, as far as I can tell. Okay. Is that all you have to say about it? Motherfucker. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Maybe go back to my office and try and find more shit online? When all else fails, go to the internet. Okay, the internet it can't help me. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. I hate this place. in Devin's bedroom? Is there something I'm missing? Let's go back to Prudence's office. Maybe there's something in the office that I missed. Yeah, I've never understood the appeal of owning books just to take up space so people can think you're more well-read than you actually are. <laughs> oh, shit. Calling out... <laughs> calling out Prudence. Casey recently tried to sue Van Dung Records. Prudence says it was only to get more money out of her. But is that really all there is to it? No. Devin last saw Kate some kind of... Gee, if I am... Okay, not... So do I have anything that I can use in this I little... Am... Okay. Weird star shaped. I guess not. Okay. Some pop star who. My client, the. Prudence's daughter. She might. I assure you, there is absolutely nothing to see over here. Looks like she's hiding something. Maybe if <laughs> Looks I like she's out hiding some way something. To get her out of the room. Oh! Oh! So I go up to Devin's bedroom and I trash something. Okay, um... That's a really cute... Yeah. Damn fucking right. Okay. Wow, I'm 
surprised this could be nothing out of the ordinary, save for a bunch of emails from someone yes. named Fritz Fleischer? Hm. Better make myself scarce before Prudence gets back. Fritz Fleischer. Is that the lawyer? Searching this name turns up a local law office. Yep. There's an address. I should probably head over and check it out. <laughs> cool. So we get a new location. Okay, I guess we do that automatically. A while later... Do -do -do. Oh, okay. That was weird. Completely, Completely shuttered. shuttered. No sign of anyone returning. Why might that be? Hmm. Do I go and make sure that Fritz is- well, it's pretty clear that Fritz is Casey's lawyer. <clears throat> oh! I'd like to ask you- Are you- Yes, I- Is that- Fritz Fleischer. What? Is this some kind of riddle or something? Wait, what? Shit. Oh, I accidentally that's skipped it, I'm sorry. Not what he said you'd say, I hope you're not thinking. Because if you are, I'm going to have to eh, put this on the map now. Okay, so I'm sorry, I need to go back and I'd see like what it is you. that she yes, said. Is that so? Fritz Fleischer? If it's really you, then how many cherry how many trees cherry can do trees? the Charleston on top of a church spire? <laughs> Charleston on top of a church spire. What? Okay. Well, you're- what was- Hmm. Let's go back to my office and see if that answer is in the, um, it's on the internet. Searching for at call me squinky 27 leads to a page of nonsensical questions and, oh, what do we have here? Yep. How many cherry trees can do the Charleston on yep. top of the church spire? Don't be childish. The Charleston is too challenging for church-going cherry trees. Aha. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Twitter. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Casey's house and then finally fucking get into Casey's house. <clears throat> Hello, Miss Pendergast. Hello, I'm Miss Pendergast. I'm, I'm sorry to, to take advantage of you like this, ma'am. I'd like to ask you about Casey Bingham. Are you his lawyer? Yes, I am indeed Casey's lawyer. Is that so? What is your name? Fritz Fleischer. Fritz Fleischer. Hmm. If it's really you, then how many cherry trees can do the Charleston on top of a church spire? Uh, don't be childish. The Charleston is too challenging for church-going cherry trees. So it is you. Very well. Casey told me to give you these directions to his cabin. Directions now, to his go cabin? And a little bit. I'll be taking those, thank you. You have a nice day now. Okay, Wait a minute. Then. I guess I better head on over. And I should probably make it quick. Now to find a cheap way to get myself all the way out in the sticks. One slow, smelly bus ride later. This must be the place he's staying. Follow the directions. Casey's nowhere to be seen. Calls for an inspection. I love that they used the inside of a cardboard thing 
to give the appearance of like a log cabin. That's so cute. And I like the paper bearskin rug. Let's look at the taxidermy first. That moose head on the wall, it really creeps me out. I think it's staring at me with its eyes. That said, it can be great to get your head chopped off and permanently stuck in dull surprise. That's fair. There's a stack of papers over here. Oh, shit. Looks a bit familiar, weirdly. Oh, what does it say there? A wearable device for in tune singing by Dominique Pomplamousse. My old thesis paper. What the fuck? A cabin in the woods, the perfect little place to hide when you're a pop star on the run. I kind of want my own, where I can be alone, deep in seclusion like a monk or nun. <laughs> I can see some charred up paper fragments. God damn it. Say things like, can't breathe, it's painful, seems like they were recent. Is our friend Casey in some kind of trouble? Maybe prudence lied to me. What is going on here? I wouldn't be surprised if Prudence lied to us. Check out the zebra rug. I wonder if it's real. It must have cost a fortune either way. I wonder if they'd make a rug of human skin for which a super rich person would pay. <laughs> Probably. Oh shit. Hi, Are Casey. You doing in my <laughs> Sir, I have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Goodness, I'm sorry, ma'am. You're Casey Bin. Wait, why are you apologizing? I'm just being polite. Now, are you going to leave or what? <laughs> Casey's fucking voice. Oh my god. Okay. So, alright. I was hired by Prudence Van Dung to find you. Wait, okay, you gotta hear me out. Van Dung Records is corrupt without I'm jamming. a doubt. I tell you, you just can't tell Prudence. Where I am, she wants me dead, and she won't mess about. I hear you posed as Devin Van Dung's boyfriend and helped pay her way to college in exchange for information on Prudence. Devin's a good kid. She's got to get out of town and away from that horrible monster woman. That's fair. I've never met a real life pop star before. Oh, you know, I get that all no, the time. Why are you wearing your auto-tune thing while you're not on stage? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um... Let's see. I met that I old lady who waters your plants. 
Ms. Pendergast, was it? What are you talking about? I don't have anyone watering my plants. Really? Because I could have sworn. Huh. Miss Pendergast is not who she- I was gonna mention that, too. Like, if she really has memory problems, how could she remember what I was supposed to say? She's not who she seems. Where's your lawyer, Casey? He disappeared about two weeks ago. That on purpose. Okay. May I ask what you're doing with my thesis papers from college? You mean those are yours? You're that Dominique. How do you pronounce your last name? Pomplamoose. And those papers were stolen, by the way. Where did you find them? They were in Prudence's file. Of course they were. They were buried That's how she knew about me. Give me answers, so I took them. Listen, okay. you gotta help me. This tie, it's choking me. Gonna kill me if I don't get it off and soon. Look, it's been a really long time, and that was supposed to be a prototype. It was never meant to be used by... Please, you're the only person who can... Act. Okay, let me think. What if you just... Yeah, can't breathe. Losing. Ah! <laughs> Is he dead? I think Is he he's dead? dead. I think he's dead. What have I gotten myself into? Fuck. I'm so sorry, Casey. Never meant for this to... Pimple brain. Miss Rathbone? What? That Miss Rathbone? Miss Rathbone to you, you good-for-nothing murderer. I've been watching what? you for a while now. Murderer? Hey, I know it looks bad, and it's going to sound like the biggest cliche ever, but I can explain. Ha! You can explain in your cozy new jail cell. What the fuck? The is a luxury resort compared to that dingy apartment of yours. You're throwing me in jail just like that? That's not fair. I have rights. Wait, I don't still have to pay the rent, do I? <laughs> Shut up, pimple moose. Dominique, you're in over your head. Dominique, you might as well just lie down and go to bed. Dominique, Dominique, Dominique. Hey, Pimple Cakes, you've got a visitor. Poor Dominique. Hello, Hi! Fleischer. Poor 
or should I say, Dominique Pomplamoose. Wait a minute. So you're not... I mean, you can... Michael Lansbury, P.I. Hope I have didn't come across as weird. I was hired by Mr. Bant when his lawyer disappeared. That oh. man or woman, if not music, you hadn't already guessed. It was her who framed you for murder so as to keep you dispossessed. Oh. You don't happen to know what happened to the real Fritz Fleischer, do you? Missing. Presumed dead. There's foul play at work here, I tell you. Damn. Prudence is like a, a darker person than I expected. Okay, hold on. So you're saying Prudence Van Dung framed me? You must know now as well as I that it was your research she poached. Should that knowledge become well known, she would surely be reproached. Now, if you can get out of here and gather all your proof, that group will be the one in jail faster than you can say poof. Okay. So you're absolutely well, either that or you actually did go in there and strangle the poor boy to death. Fair point. Fair point. How am I supposed to get out of here? Are you bailing me out? Regrettably, I can't afford to. Times are tough all around, you see. But if you can get Fair. past one crooked cop, well, that'll be the key. Speaking of keys, take this one I found in Mr. Bingham's possessions. And with that, I'd better scurry off. This is the end of my visiting session. Thank you, Angela. You've been a great ally and friend. Dominique, you must get out of here. Dominique, there's nothing left to lose or even fear. Come on, Fuck Dominique. Yeah. Come on, Dominique. You got this. So. Never knew I'd find myself in the slammer alone with my thoughts, most of which aren't even good ones. Brain starting to rot, and there's not even internet. <laughs> People sleep on beds like this. It smells like dirty socks, and the mattress is incredibly lumpy, probably made of rocks. I'd rather use the floor. Jail cell toilets are incredibly awkward. I feel oddly exposed, and the sink's at an unnatural angle on purpose, I suppose. To top it off, it's leaking. This key has some kind of a star shape to it. Sadly, it's the star key! To get me out it's the here. star key for the bust! Oh, damn. <laughs> Boredom. <laughs> bored. Bored, bored, bored. 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 Ugh, the toilet in this jail cell is leaking. Gross. Hmm. I need to figure out how I'm s- if that's even- Okay. These bars are all that's keeping me in here Well, that and the police And who knows, maybe they have guard dogs All covered in fleas But I'll deal with them l Hey, what's all that racket about? Hi, hi Ms. Rathbone Uh, hey, leaking uh, toilet? I just wanted to let you know that the toilet's leaking Is it? Okay, let me have a look don't even think it, Pimple Mouse. Damn it. Don't even think. Eh, still functional. Don't worry about it. Damn it. Fuck. Shit. I most definitely can, even if I did, I'd probably slip and fall going near this thing. Was framed by my client. Great work, Dominique. Just great. You didn't know, Dominique. It's okay. It was who stole my research all those years ago. And to find this out after I'd long since given up on my academic dreams. Aww. Dominique. 
mean, you can put her in jail and maybe sue her for damages. Officer Rathbone, you there? What do you want, Pumpernickel? What do you want, Pumpernickel? Um... I mean, I guess I could talk to her about I'm being innocent. framed. innocent! You should be putting Prudence Van Dung behind bars. She's the one who framed me. Baloney. Prudence Van Dung sent me to keep an eye on you. Thus I was Said framed. You knew you'd try something funny. Because I was framed. God damn it. Okay. So, I need to get her what? to stay. Um... I could ask her to look at the leaking toilet, but how do I get out after that? Hmm. I'm keeping that. Don't wanna. Okay. Never get, you know, for a while we used to do thriller dance lessons, but they've been on hiatus since the budget cuts. So <laughs> okay. Can I maybe get a musical instrument in here, like a harmonica or something? I feel a sudden urge to play the blues. Let me see what we have in the back. Oh, damn it. She closed the this door behind her. What the fuck is that? Bagpipes? Bagpipes. Play those a little louder, why don't you? <laughs> Maybe I can get her in here to look at the leaky toilet and then play the bagpipes? Yep. Yep. Great. Now's my chance. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> kill her with bagpipes. Everything is going according to plan. No more pop stars poking heads about, and that pomplimous character out of my head. What's up, well, fucker? Prudence Van Dung. I cannot understand it. This cannot be real. You're supposed to be safe in jail away from here. I am onto your game now. I know why I was framed. Don't deny it, Prudence, if that's really it's your really name. It's really your name. Such an accusation. Don't be such a goof. But if you're truly serious, do you have any proof? Huh. Prudence is bust as- Hey, I want- What's this? My original prototype! Damn fucking right. You were using my work to damage Casey's voice. You got rid of us both before we could make noise. This bow tie over here you hid inside your bust, making voices and tunes exactly what it does. Like this. Was your work. For all anyone else knows, it could have come from anywhere. Fucking research See, papers, right here biatch. It's my research. Years ago it was stolen, left me in a lurch. Oh, look at that. You figured it out. But before you rush to judge me, let me explain. I was but a poor God. mother Shut up Working several thankless jobs Cool motive, still murder I saw a perfect opportunity To rise above the rest of the slums I did it all for my daughter Grown a 
in so much comfort She'll never have to deal with my strife Mother! Damn right, Devin. What? What are you doing in here? Can't you see I'm busy with Mr. Pomplamoose? She's Miss Pomplamoose, Mother, and you're always busy. Just hear me out just this once, and I promise I'll never bother you again. Wait, wait, did either of you actually ask me what I heard <laughs> Because I won't remember ever. All right, Devin. Nope. What do you have to nope. say to me? Make it quick, please. I don't have all day. Damn right, Devin. Right. You Fuck yeah. Here all along, unless I have a proposition. Why don't you work for me? No. I can do everything to clear your name and get you out of debt. What do you say? No! Are you Fuck kidding? you! I can't work for an indiscriminate murderer. Sure, the job market's tight, but I'm not giving up on my sense of moral decency. I should take the evidence I've gathered and turn you in. I figured you'd feel that way. Very well. Good luck with that. Wait, so you're not stopping me? Why not? Odds of the police believing you are rather slim indeed. But who knows? You may get lucky. So I brought Van Dung to justice, or at least I tried to. I'm still where I was before an underemployed gumshoe, thinking that it's time to get away. Start over, change my life, and find... My way. We've come to the end of my adventure. It had some strange and unexpected twists, but I must say, all in all, that it was squinky and the squinkettes. So here's a list of make this exist. Aaron, Adam, Adrian, Adventure, Taylor, Augustine, A.K. Elaine, Alan, Astro, Alan, 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 that's hilarious. Jake, Jacob, James, Baby, John, Janet, Jared, Jason, Gail, JDM, 28, Jeanette, Jeff, Jenny, Jennifer, Jensen, Jerry, Jessica, Gil, Joe, Joel, Joey, Don, Jordan
This takes This takes dedication. So thank you all for playing through this game. Now turn your screen off, go outside, it's good for you, they claim. <laughs> Bravo! Fucking, that was beautiful. I loved that so much. Oh, man. I am curious to see what happens when you do accept, like, uh, Prudence's job offer, but I don't know. It wouldn't have felt right. Um, but... That was wonderful. I, I know that there is a uh, sequel to this, and I want to play that too. Because um, this was, it was relatively short, but it was still really, it was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and for checking me out. I'm going to leave the link to this game and the developer information in the description. And I hope you have a great weekend. Later.